Bada, bada, bada. Hello. It is, it has me, it has me. No, it is me, the famous Chloe, me, just me, 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 me. For another curiosity, 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 curiosity. Box, 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 box. And I am now an ambassador, ambassador, ambassador. Okay, okay, okay. I got it. I'm an ambassador for curiosity box. And there is another video which I'll put a link to in the clickable eye button right here of me doing a different curiosity box. Well, it's still a curiosity box, but it's not this one. So this is a totally new one, and I'm now the best. So that is really, really cool, and I can't wait. I have scribbled out my address and everything, so it just says, Chloe, because that is my name. Obviously, I mean, if my name was not Chloe, it would be like, Bob, me, just me, not Chloe, me, just me. But that is actually a boy's name, so I, that just went from the tip of my mind to the bottom. So, it's a, a curiosity box, if you haven't watched my other video and you don't know, it is STEM or science box, subscription box for children. And I am a child, so I can do it. And even if I become an adult, like, poof, I'm an adult now, I can still do it because I love it so much, you know. It's just seriously fascinating fun inside this box. And it's, on the back it says, Box or intergalactic time machine? You decide the time control buttons, radar, and joysticks. Hack this box if you need to use these as part of the activities inside or create something completely new. Take a photo of your creation and get a grown up to post to www.facebook.com slash mycuriositybox. Time control buttons. What will you create? Is the monkey with giant goggles on, which is really, really cute, and I love him so much. And he has a lab coat on. <gasps> Be right back. <laughs> Where was I? <clears throat> I am now. Was am I a good scientist or a fool? I am now an evil scientist. <laughs> and I will rule the world with my time machine, which is out of this box. <laughs> in my foot, but sorry, and ooh, where, where, where does this come from? Never mind, ow, 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 I'm just going to take this off, I've now got marks on my, on my head, it's a bit like when you wear swimming goggles actually, yes I've had that, that, that a lot of times before, but goodbye goggles, I think we're going to have to deal with Chloe like this, but I am now a scientist, I will now open it up, let me use my powers. Oh no, it, it, it did not open, so I'll use my powers. <laughs> Ta-da! So this box is about dun 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 dun! Mighty micro beasts! Um. Okay, there are some test tubes. Some plastic and oh, uh, it's disgusting dishes. And on it, it says toilet seat dish, dish cloth. It's like clean stuff and then dirty stuff. So apparently, really everything inside this very, 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 very clinky clanky bag, I got to take samples of clean stuff like of a clean toilet seat dish cloth mobile phone and hands somehow i'm gonna get that with a swab obviously and dirty toilet seats dishcloth mobile phone and hands i wonder how i'm gonna do the toilet dirty toilet seat uh, it's kind of disgusting but cool at the same time that's gonna probably be one of my last things and it says biohazard on it so it's with a sticker saying biohazard so Okay, I can be a little bit more evil science you now. Wait, what is this? It is a yeast race. I'm going to create a yeast, a burping yeast race. Um, kind of weird, but okay. 
So one of them is about scientists and the other one is about a micro beast. And I think it looks somewhat like this. And some PVA glue, some paint, some string, some tissue paper, some balloons. I'm pretty sure I have all of those. And googly eyes. But I'm pretty sure I have all of them. But we get to make Marshall the mic. No, wait. We, we, we get to make microbes. <gasps> we get to, oh, it's, it's making a microbe. We can make lots of different types of microbes. That's pretty cool. There's lots of different ones. Look at it. You get to make a ton of them. Yay. Big microbes. They may be actually in size. Like that. Actually, they'd be like this big. But you can't see it because it's too small for you. Because they're too tiny. They're tinier than that. It says, every time you complete the activities in, in your monthly box, choose a sticker and stick it here. Can you reach the professor, the professor level? These are levels? It's like a level chart. It's not a board game, it's a level chart. Let me get it right. You start there. So you can get to... So if you level up, you get to an apprentice, a graduate, a doctor... Hey. And a professor. So soon it'll be all filled up with stickers. Now I know why I shouldn't wear the stickers. I don't like wearing stickers anyway, so that actually makes me pretty happy. So, this month's pot. Month's. Molly. Okay. It's a Molly pod. It's a Molly pod. You get a Molly pod every month. And this is my one right now. It's an ammonia one. And it's a Molly pod. A molly pod is a molecule, and my molecule is ammonia. This month's molly pod is made from your body. In your, not from your body, or like, um, no, in your body. It is used and made by lots of micro beasts, and is seriously scary. It's ammonia, oh no. <laughs> Ammonia is made up of one nitrogen atom and three hydrogen atoms like this. So that is what I'm making. I will make that right now to prove it to you how easy it is. So, very simple. Hopefully. Mm. So we're going to pop one in there. Pop one of these in there. This is actually quite an easy one, so that's why I'm making it now. Yeah. Actually, I think that's back. No, I, I, I put that back, actually. Ah, it's in. Yay, it is quite easy. This is my molly pod. Which is an ammonia. So, for instance, for instance, that is put a little roll over then. Yay, it went like this. Bloop. So now I'll learn what all of the molecules look like and have a 3D imagery. Well, not imagery, a 3D model that I made, which makes me pretty happy. And I have a universal clip type LED cell phone microscope, LED. It clips onto your mobile phone in this little pocket. Here it is. Doing, 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 doing. We can use these to, to see micro beasts. So if I was an evil scientist and I found, uh, for instance, I could use a leaf, put it close up, and I would see all of the magical patterns. I am going to now do one of the experiments. You see, I really want to do this one. Yay! <laughs> it smells funny. I can smell something. Is a permanent red marker, I think. A permanent red marker, which I've now got on my finger. <laughs> Silly me. And some growth medium. Some cotton buds, which I can use to swab stuff. And also some agar powder. And some white plastic bags. Hmm, some petri dish. 
Now I have two in total. Let me put these in there. So I've got my hair nice in a little bun and my safety goggles up now adjusted so they don't press really hard on my face because it has been like almost a year since I last used them. So it's really, really tight and small. And I have got 120 mils of water, the grip medium and the agar powder. And I'm going to pour it into this saucepan now. I'm going to get it started. Can you imagine if you just went poof? <laughs> like magic. It probably not because it's water from the sink. The one is called a gar powder, which is this little stingy one. And this is the growth medium. Are you ready? Are you steady? Mix it a bit. So I have to bring it to boil and simmer and let it simmer for five minutes. And while that's happening, I will dance. So I've set up the box with this and it says biohazard. So this box is now a biohazard box. I do all of my various experiments in. And I have some little tubs down here, which are petri dishes. This weird solution that I've made with these two different chemicals and some water, but seriously, it looks like urine, aka wee, and it smells like yeast. It's not for human consumption, and if you don't know what that means, it means you can't eat it or drink it. We're waiting for these to set to turn into a jelly like substance, and then we can start getting some swabs. And then we'll have to wait until tomorrow until tomorrow afternoon. Yay! Now these have set like jelly. Okay, this is what they look like actually. And um Hello. They have set like jelly, so how you know they don't wobble anymore when you shake them. And now I have to turn them upside down and I get to another one here. I'll write down with my pen the toilet seat, the dishcloth, the mobile phone and the hands with clean and divide them into four quarters do that same but with dirty in the middle and then we will start doing those swaps mobile phone you're lucky that it's got a cover on and it's waterproof not many kids get to rub things on their mum's mobile phone I've got to admit this is as bad it may not seem as bad but it may be bad The back phone is this one. Spons it down. It's moving everywhere. So I'm going to use a dirty towel to prove. There. Rub it all over this dirty bit. And rub it all over. Let's get a bit of this bit. All dirty. I'm so dirty this side of it now. Mm -hmm. All over there, go. Yeah. Get some of those dirty molecules over. Mm -hmm. There, it's germy. Check. Dirty. Dish. Bum, bum, bum. Ba -da -da -dum -dum -dum. It's actually like really squidgy. It's really weird. So I'm just going to do a lot of at least a toilet. I don't want to do this. I actually think she's going to do it. Just how it was. Dirty. Tweet seat. I can see them all transferring onto here because this is the one of the most dirtiest. So I'm going to do the same with the clean, but then I'm going to put all of them on, clean everything really, really roughly, even my hands as much as I can, just with to touching the dirty toilet, and yeah, and then we'll have to put it in a nice, not dark, in a nice warm place, 
overnight and then in the afternoon tomorrow you'll see me right there. in the future <laughs> because on the first day when we looked at it we didn't put it in a warm enough place but now it's been sitting in the sun it stinks seriously I can smell it from here and trust me it worked a lot better than I thought it would because actually before it didn't work whatsoever I'm like oh no and then I realized not in a warm place I don't want to open it. That is dirty. It is taking over. So it really stinks. So I'm going to have to check it out soon. A dirty one. I just want to put it see. The hands and the mobile phone. The toilet seat wasn't actually that dirty as you can see. But the hands are just infected pretty much. And is that the dirty or the clean? That's the clean, but that's the hands. I can't wait to see this. The toilet, that's toilet. This is quite a bit of dirt, which is mobile phone. Hands, I thought always looked very dirty. That's confusing that it's more dirty in the clean than the dirty. But it stinks now. And all of that white you can see is all of the molecules there, because they love the dirt. So, in my sciencey knowledge up here, it's not completely clean, so when I thought it was all nice and clean, it's not. So that means it's not completely sterile. So when you think it's clean, it's not clean actually. Quite confusing. But here for Chloe knows. Do, 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 do. Learn with Chloe time. Time to get to sci science edition. Sterile means that... Wait, let me just go on Google. <laughs> Aha, uh -huh, it says sterile. Sterile. Free from bacteria or other li living microorganisms. Totally clean. So it means it's totally clean. And so for instance, my hands right now are probably not sterile. Yes. As you saw in our experiment. Go Chloe, I'm learning, I'm learning, you're learning too. Go Chloe, go Chloe, I'm learning, you're learning so much too. Back to normal Chloe with marks on her head now. Yeah, I do have marks on my head. Awkward, <laughs> my cheeks have gone red. Never mind, forget about that. <laughs> so my hands weren't exactly as clean as I thought. So they're not at all sterile. See, you're learning, you're learning. Good, 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 good. And the toilet seat. Obviously, I thought it'd be a little bit dirty, but it's not as dirty as my hands. Hmm? So, that is it for the science video. But before I go, I have a discount code for the Curiosity Box. And it's down in the description below. And the reason it's down there is you've forgotten it. <laughs> So, it's down there, we'll quickly look at it again, write it down, so I don't have to say it right now, which has actually embarrassed me a little bit that I've forgotten my own discount code, but you get 15% off though, I know, I will use my brain skills and shoot a ray of images through my eyes, are you ready, are you ready? <laughs> Ta -da! Now I will pop this bubble. Pop. There we go. So there it is. This code. And you're gonna type that in to get 15% off. And I am a, an ambassador, so then that means I can do more videos like this, which is really, really cool. I need my cool science goggles. There we go. I picked it up with my feet. <laughs> and I have more information about the Curiosity Box in my blog. 
And if you'd like to subscribe, click here. If you'd like to see more Curios videos, which is only one, click here. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. And that is all for me. So I will disappear.